back to the race for the title now. And on Friday night, Shamrock Rovers were at home to Dundalk, hoping to erase the memory of last week's big defeat at Inchicore from their minds. Now, one thing that will never be erased from Rover supporters' minds is Milltown, and a group of supporters walked from Milltown to Talla to mark the 25th anniversary of the last match played there. Tony O'Donoghue reports on this one. There was bound to be a backlash following Shamrock Rovers' Dublin derby defeat to St. Pat's at Inchicore. Dundalk must have been dreading the trip to Talla, and with good reason. McCabe finding McCormack, and Gary O'Neill with the chance. It turned out to be an excellent save from Dundalk goalkeeper Peter Cherry. The lead goal though wasn't long in coming. McCabe free kick floated to the far post. Ken O'Man heading it back into the danger zone and Chris Turner with the close range finish. Half an hour in and the nerves settled. Rovers continue to press forward. Ronan Finn with this effort from distance that crashed back off the post. Finn involved in the best of the midfield action. On the ball here again and spreading the play wide to set up another attack. McCabe produced his magic and picked up Finn again inside the area. Finn had time to measure his cross for Gary Twig. And that was Twig's sixth goal of the season, leaving the Dundalk defenders fighting among themselves. Two quick-fire goals for the home side as Rovers went hunting for more. Twig here laying it up for O'Neill. Cherry's parry falling to Dennehy, but his effort blazed wide. Dennehy had an opportunity to make amends early in the second half as the Kerryman was fouled just outside the box. Cherry set up his wall and Dennehy himself took the free and planted it into the far corner. 3-0. Rovers must have thought they had a fourth when Twig set up O'Neill. However, referee George Kelly ruled that O'Neill had used his arm. O'Neill said it was his chest. There really was little positive to be taken from this one from a Dundalk point of view. Even with a decent break here, Gary Shanahan didn't have the confidence to take it on, instead trying to pick out substitute Bob McKenna. A lack of belief from the young man. Rovers continue to press as the game wound down. McCormick with the cross and Twig claiming his second header of the evening. The Flying Scotsman continued his electric form and completed his first Tala hat-trick on 87 minutes. A quick one-two with McCabe and a classic Twiggy finish. 5-0. And there was still time for one more. Twig again involved on halfway. The ball spread wide. And the cross from Chris Turner met at the near post by substitute Darrell Kavanagh past a luckless Cherry who, despite the scoreline, had a rather decent game. So an emphatic response by the champions to Good Friday's bad day at the office. Stephen Kenny will be pleased. And Gary Twig with the match ball. 6 0, the final score. We were very disappointed with last week, so we managed to put that out of our system. Uh, with a good win, some very good goals today, and a really good display. Um, you know, the first goal really gave us a, an impetus to go on and, and play some terrific football tonight, and uh, some, some, some really well worked team goals, and uh, it was a good team performance.